This is just a hive for pedophiles. Am I the first one discovering this? Can you guys please let me know? As most of you know, I'm not on social media that much. Look at this. Why? How? If you're around my age, you probably remember Honey Boo Boo and those little girl pageant bullshit. Before it used to be like, you have to be a certain age to be on social media, right? And we would all say, oh my gosh, 14, 15, maybe even that's too young for Instagram and TikTok and all that nonsense. There's 10 year olds. And look at this, all these accounts say, mom monitored or account managed by my mom. I remember a time where kids used to hide their social media accounts, whether they lied about their age or whatever it is from their parents because their parents didn't want them at 10, 11 years old going on Instagram and TikTok and being influenced by all that garbage. Now there's parents actively doing it for their child? For what reason? Is it exploitation? Am I getting this wrong? If it's not exploitation, I guess I'm wrong. If it is or if you think it is, write it in the comments below. But a lot of these images as you're seeing here is a, is a bit much. There's videos on here that's a bit way too much. I don't even feel comfortable looking at it. And the crazy thing is, it's pop, it popped up on my feed and I see a girl that looks way younger than she should celebrating her birthday where she turned, you know, 12 years old. Where I was like, oh, 12 year old birthday. Wait a second though, why is this on Instagram? And sure enough, you know how the algorithm works. You look at one thing, they blast you with a million more. If it's something super innocent, no problem. You know, if if they're into a specific sport or something like that, but wouldn't you want to involve that with your family? Because I'm so confused. But they make these pages specifically about them. And a lot of them is like skimpy clothing. You know, the ones where like 21 year old only fan girls would wear. Also, let's be real, you know a lot of parents write this but still let their kids use their Instagram. I think it's a bit sad and I think it's exploitation. You can't make videos and photos that are damn near sexually suggestive. Apparently though it's a thing, there's countless channels like this. Paint me brown and call me a churro. I had no clue. Are these just like greedy moms like, <laughs> yeah, like making money from their daughters? Some of them are like dance and actress, but it's like, come on, let's be serious. Let's be serious here for once. You know there are creeps on the internet, so is this okay? Is this really okay? And you guys wanna hear the most ironic, stupid, hypocritical thing is that all this is okay, totally allowed, especially if they say, oh, my page is managed by my mom. But if I talk about this and show you guys pictures of these public photos, my video will get demonetized and removed. And the reason why is they'll put child endangerment. Can you believe that? These are public profiles for everyone to see. But if I showcase it in my video, it'll be removed for child endangerment. So how does that work? And I'm not making shit up because this is what happened before. I made a parenting fail video on my main channel that got demonetized and strictly flagged for that reason. Do these girls not know about their Instagram, what type of photos are on there and what that could lead to? Now on one side of this, you'll have people saying, Rob, you're overreacting. This is just friendly mother-daughter stuff. They're cute 10 year old daughters, you know, at their dance class or modeling or whatever it is they want. Which is like, sure, probably in a perfect world, but we don't live in a perfect world. There's a bunch of creeps and pedophiles out there. And I'd be all for normal photos and videos too if it was for a particular reason. But this, this is a sick world we're living in, sick people. Oh, request me more Ryan topics in the comments below. Follow me on X, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys.